Hello everyone, welcome to Sudocoder. This is Ravina, and today we are going to have a look at problem number 217. This is a classic problem that will test your data structure knowledge. And if you know your data structures well, you can easily solve this problem. Hence, this has been tagged as easy. Not all the problems on lead code which are tagged as easy are easy, but this one really is. Trust me. So let's see how we can, you know, let's first start by reading the question here. So it says that given an integer array nums return true if any value appears at least twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct. So what does it mean is it has this array and it has some duplicate number. So it's asking us to check if the array has duplicate numbers. If it does, then we have to return true otherwise false. So here if you see one is repeated twice. And hence, this will return true because it does contain duplicate. Today, I'm going to solve this using set. So let's see. Let's move on to the notepad and see how we can solve this one. Okay. So I have the example in front of me. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to first have a set. So I'm going to initialize a set. Now, if you don't know what a set is, and if you are not sure about what data structures to use, I have a big announcement at the end of this video. So please keep watching and please do not skip through. <laughs> uh, keep watching and please wait till the end of the video. I have something really exciting I have to share with you guys. Okay, so first thing that we do here is we create a set. And as you know, that set uh, holds all the unique values. Even if you try to insert duplicate values, it will keep just one instance of it. Then once I have that, I'm going to go through my array. So I come here, I start with the first element. Once I find one, I'm going to add it to my set. Okay, then I come to my next, uh, next integer. I check, is, it, is that integer in the set? Uh, it's not 2 is not here so I will add 2 to my set later I increment my pointer I am pointing to 3 now I will check is 3 in my set no it is not okay I add it to my set I move forward I go to the next integer I find 1 I check is 1 in the set oh yeah it is it's right here okay so then I say that, okay, I already found one in the set. That means it has already occurred. So I re return true. Now let's take another example where it does not return anything. So for example, I have this array of one, two, and three. Here I again create a set. I am pointing towards the first element. I will add it to my set. I can, you know, even at the first element, we can check that. Uh, is one in the set no it's not i add it then i come to the next element i see is two in the set no it's not i add it to the set then i come in i go forward i see that is three in the set uh no it's not i add it and then i reach the end of the array so here i reach the end of the array so i stop and in the end what i can do is i can simply return false so that's what the explanation is I hope this explanation was clear. Let's move on to the editor and see how we can code this one. Before we proceed, I just want to request you guys to subscribe to my channel if you find my videos helpful. Also like and comment below. Uh, this helps me keep motivated to make more videos and also kind of feel nice about myself. So, <laughs> okay, uh, going to my editor. The first thing that we need is a set. So I'm going to initialize it nums set and that's how you initialize that in python oops nope yeah and then the next thing is we have to go through our array so we have to iterate through our array so for number in nums i'm going to check if my num is in my number set if it is there i just return true otherwise if it's not there, add it. So I add the integer. I add the number to my 
numbers set once everything is done everything looks cool and there is nothing wrong with it then i just return false so that's really the code guys it's really really simple if you know your data structures i'm gonna run it now okay it was accepted so i'll just submit it okay so you see it was accepted and it beats 99.93 percent of the users now let's talk about the space and time complexity of this problem so in terms of time complexity if you see we are going through each and every element once and if you check i have a if condition here it's checking if num is in the set so one interesting thing about set is that it's time complexity the time complexity to look for something in a set is actually constant that's why uh, the time complexity of this particular algorithm is going to be o of n n because we are iterating through every number and then here it's constant so this one doesn't affect our time complexity a complexity becomes o of n in terms of space complexity so the worst case uh, space complexity here is going to be o of n because suppose your numbers array has you know all the distinct elements so my set at some point is going to hold you know all the elements so it's going to take o of n of space n is the number of integers that you have so that's why the space complexity is going to be o of n okay so as promised i have the big announcement for you uh, i am actually working on the python course python dsa course that i'm going to be publishing on youtube so stay tuned for it i'm going to cover all the basics i have received so many requests from so many people that there are not enough python courses on youtube so i'm making one for you guys and i hope you will like it i uh, i'll publish a date soon <laughs> okay um so yeah thank you for watching uh please subscribe to my channel if you like it leave a like or comment below and i will see you next time bye bye